A group of teachers wrapping their arms around a Pinedale Elementary School student after his mom died in a car crash last week. An 11 year old boy was in the car with her and suffered serious injuries. And even though he's still injured, he wanted to see his mother one last time. On your side's Tristan Hardy has their story. For the first time since the fatal crash, 11 year old Josiah Corona got to see his mother. Unfortunately, it was at this funeral home, but he's not alone during his time of grief. That's 11 year old Josiah Corona on the stretcher. The women surrounding him are his teachers. He was inside the funeral home for less than 10 minutes. On July 1st, the Florida Highway Patrol says Corona and his mother were driving on I-95 when she lost control and crashed the car. Authorities say they ran off the roadway and slammed into a tree. Injuring the mother and son, they were taken to the hospital where Corona's mother was pronounced dead. She was 45. Corona's father, James House, says he's relocating to the First Coast from Ohio to support his son. I've been just trying to hold it together for my son, but on the inside, I'm, I'm just like, I don't know what to do anymore. It's like, I'm, I'm not nervous. Um, I'm not scared to be a dad. It's just more of how we're going to pick up the pieces from this. After the viewing, I caught up with Josiah. He says he's heartbroken, but he's trying to stay strong because his mother lives in his heart. In Jacksonville, I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.